2014 Acura MDX. Here we freaking go! 19 millimeter, 12 point will work. Three quarter, six point will work. Something like that. Lucy, ready, tidy, lefty, toosy, ready, tidy. Jack Stan goes right there. Man, this car's jacked up all in the right places. <laughs> Love it when a nut just pops off. These right here, top of the line, front brake pads. Right here, there's the number, rear brake pads. Right here, these are front rotors. Super duper Chinese sea clamps forever. Is the hydraulic piston. We gotta depress him to push it back. Hey, so you guys know it's better than one sea clamp? You'll never guess. It's two sea clamps, yeah. Seriously, you don't need to. One's fine. This is the front caliper brake bracket. This is the front caliper. Yeah. Has two pistons. One, two. For ultra super duper power braking stopping performance, the Oliver weight is shifted towards the front when we try to stop. No opening the bleeder screw is ever necessary unless you're doing something like way different. You were gonna use a 17. You could use a six point or a 12 point. 12 is not always the best thing to use. We're gonna use a six point. Bang, bang, down there. Now that we got her all loosey goosey, she'll flop right out of there. Oh, that just flopped right out of there. Lose these. Wow, look at that. Nah. This is the old brake spring hardware stuff. The new kit should have those in it. Where are they? Ah, yeah, we're gonna replace those too. You can really use anything to pop those out. Just stick something in there, really. Come on, you jerk jerk. There we go. All right, so there's a bigger bolt than the last one. Right in here, you gotta pop that one off. And then there's another one right there you gotta pop off to get this brake caliper bracket off of here so that way we can get the rotor out. Never be afraid of a bigger bolt. You just use a bigger socket. You just gotta work with it a little bit differently. Mm, another thought I just had is make sure you keep your, uh, your brake caliper up where uh, the line can't get pinched because if it's sitting down here, like I just had it, and if it's an older brake line, it can actually damage and collapse your brake line, and then it'll cause like dragging brakes. You're like, what you doing, man? When you not working? True story, it's happened to me. High front brake caliper bracket. Now you gotta get off that little Phillips head right there. Uh-oh. Hey, that worked out just fine. <coughs> Now, if it's stuck and you're trying to reuse your uh, rotor here, be sure to use a mallet and you use it at an angle like this all the way around. If it's stuck and you're like, I don't care, I just need the stupid thing off there. Number one, heat if you got it, such as a torch or anything that throws a flame, and then you just whack it with uh, your universal uh, Ford tool. <sighs> Whoa, man, that's big. Where'd you get that from? Uh, you know, I don't know where I get all the things like that. Sure enough, I whacked it with the mallet just now. I set down the phone, and the whole thing just came right off. This is uh, somewhat of a newer vehicle, 2014, the year's 2022. And uh, yeah, sometimes these things do not come off this easy, and you have to like seriously abuse it like you do your ex-wife. Get that bitch, I'm gonna beat her good! Ah, so beautiful! You line that hole with that hole, just like you took it off. Not a bad idea to put just a little bit of dab of uh, some lubricant on that screw so it doesn't get seized up in the next five years when you go to do this again. Same goes for anything, really, if you don't want to have trouble. You guys are like, I used a Loctite. <laughs> well, if you use a Loctite, hey, <laughs> go, go use the green one. <laughs> Seriously, don't do that. <laughs> Find the inner hole. Now, explore the outer hole. Never a good idea to do by impact. It's better to do by hand, really. Make sure it's seated properly all the way around, just like that. Yeah. Do not put petroleum products on rubber. It eats the rubber away. There's no need to put WD-40 in these. Ooh, shiny hardware. With some directions to go along. That is if you like to take directions and be submissive. Ah! Okay, and what you do here is I just put it on like that with my hand. I didn't put any grease on to help pop it on. Now you can do that. But I did it like that. Push it down like that. I did it with my thumb only and it snapped right in there. 
Should look like that. Look, I'll do the other one for you too. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch. No hammer! No hammer, hammer, hammer! This is where our brakes slide back and forth, eh? Organic grease. Gee, I wonder how they make this. From trees? Now we're just gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna put it in the track there. So that way, your brakes can slide freely without bondage. Oh, I meant bindage. Don't you just hate when you say something like that? That's not exactly what you meant. And people look at you funny like, eh, what do you do on the weekends? <laughs> well, uh oh And you wanna be really clean with this, all right? You don't wanna get this stuff all over the place. It's just not a good idea. There we go. She's all lubed up and ready. Now I'm gonna attempt to slide her on. So hard to do holding a telly. There she goes. Ah! There we go. Now I'm gonna put the lower one in. All right, this is the passenger side of the vehicle. At least if you're in America, it's on the front right. Okay, moving on. It has this little thingy right here. Then you'll notice the little piston cups that's been pushing out on this guy. That means that this guy is gonna be pushing out. Uh-oh, <laughs> got that wrong. All right, so it's gonna be pushing like that. So that little thing has gotta go upward, like towards the caliper, like that, yeah. I'm gonna put just a little dab of grease on these little ears. In we go. I'll see if I could do this with one hand. First I'm gonna put the bottom one in, just cause it's better to start at the bottom. And then here we go, here's the top one. Should just kinda wiggle it and it should just go right in. I took one hand and one finger, so six fingers. And I had to put my phone down cause I don't have six fingers on one hand. Be a pretty weird son of a bitch if you did. All right, now these two guys, they appear to be the same for both the driver front and uh, passenger front. So I don't think you can get those mixed up. Yeah, there we go, in place. A little bit goes a long ways with this grease. You don't want it ending up on the rotor. because That's not gonna help you stop. All right, so I went to go put the caliper on and there's so much meat on them things that my piston cups are not pushed back far enough. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw an old one of these guys back up in here, something like that, and then push it back with uh, anything, really. <laughs> these guys are nearing the end of life. You can see how there's like grit and like rust and everything in there. Have to be replaced probably uh, next time I do brakes, but for now. All right, now for this part. These are a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna call these the anti-squeak, the anti-wear springs. These little springs, you see how it's naturally wanting to keep it pushed out like that? Well, that's all good and fine and dandy, um, but I can't do it because it's gonna take both my hands to get both these springs on and push the caliper uh, back on correctly. All right, that was honestly probably the biggest biatch I have throughout this whole thing. Um, yeah, clever, and uh, yeah, there's a reason for those. Nice, nice, you know. Uh, you know, it took me a couple minutes, but I got it. You know, I had to put the phone down, and then I just slid the um, caliper over, and now it's holding those pitas in place. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. The car is running. Look where my foot is. All the way to the freaking floor. Oh my god, I almost crashed. <laughs> Don't forget to pump it back. So that way your calipers can start to squeeze and go back into place because all that fluid that you push back up the line has to come back down. Yeah. Two. Oh, there it is. I got pressure now. Uh -huh. I'm not camping here again. Oh! <laughs> Woman's going to be so freaking happy. Ooh, she's going to be so happy. Mm, she's going to go. Mm. Moment of truth. I'm going down the hill. Slow down. Fixed. Hey, that is quite better. You get what you pay for. Like and subscribe. I put a lot of effort and a lot of time putting in these videos and making sure you can do it too.